These are some signs of life in the latest results. Yeah, a lot of green on the screen, and many of these stocks soaring in a big way, as you just heard. Bank of America has soared after its core Wall Street businesses exceeded uh, expectations. Morgan Stanley revenue, a little different. Uh, revenue from trading slid 22% from a year earlier, and that combined with a deal making slump led to results that were weaker than predicted. But the CEO said the second quarter uh, was encouraging and also encouraging the investment banking results. And so these latest results really put a shot in the arm in terms of optimism for investment banking, an area of Wall Street that has been in a major slump. These latest results, Bank of America and Morgan Stanley, they now join J.P. Morgan and Citi in beating on equity underwriting. Bank of America earnings soared on a surprise beat in fixed income and equity trading. In fact, they had the best first half sales and trading revenue in more than a decade. And while they have value at risk ticking higher over the past three years, they had zero days of trading losses in the quarter. As for Morgan Stanley, the high point there was executives pointing to an improved outlook and its stock rose the most in six months. Now, the CEO says, again, the end of the second quarter was encouraging. Uh, that is something that investors really wanted to hear. They also said they are overall in a better better place and with a better tone. Bank of America had slightly improved outlook uh, for its net uh, interest income for the full year. Um, again, this has been a bright spot for the banking index, which got a big lift, as Jerry said, 3% on the day, and one of the biggest gains we've seen in a while. So you mentioned the hope over investment banking. So when could we expect a turnaround? Well, the CEO of Morgan Stanley, James Gorman, says that he believes we've seen a bottom. Again, he had very encouraging words for the street, and that's exactly what the street wanted to hear. When is the deal-making slump going to be behind us? He said those words that everyone wanted to hear. He believes the worst is over. I do believe it's bottomed, he told Bloomberg. He thinks deals will pick up, uh, but possibly not until next year. And again, in terms of the reaction of the stock, uh, there's been a lot of talk about who will succeed Gorman. Uh, there is a 12-month uh, a plan to announce that, but he said that this was effectively a drop the Mike moment for Morgan Stanley. He jokingly said that he should retire uh, today on these results. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Bank of America, uh, as I said, giving a uh, not quite as optimistic outlook uh, on some of its parts, but he did have something to say about seeing a, a soft landing, uh, and, and that was also a positive for the street. And again, uh, this is an area that many on Wall Street have been looking for signs. When is investment banking going to pick up? When are these banks really going to show strength, given the tough year that they've had, especially in the spring? And this latest set of results really seems to be what the street was looking for.